three persons A, B and C are standing in a queue not necessarily in the same order. So there are four people between A and B. A, 1, 2, 3, 4 and B. Now there is also another possibility where B can be in front of A, right? So we are putting two possibilities here. The question says there are seven persons between B and C. Now C can either be in the top or in the bottom. So first possibility is C can be at the top. So let's count 7 between B and C. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now let's put the same order but let's put C at the bottom. So between B and C there are 7 people now. I'm just marking the number of people by the side so that it will be easier for us to... Don't forget that we have to count even A, B and C as one person. So I'm marking them as well. So we have to fill this possibility as well where there are 7 people between C. First I'm putting C ahead of B, then I'm putting the same possibility where C is behind B. So this will become 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and C here. Now we have two more statements. If there are 11 persons ahead of C and 13 behind A, what could be the minimum number of persons in the queue? So we'll have to mark 11 people ahead of C now. In the first possibility, it will be right here. So we're marking 11 here. And we'll have to count 13 behind A. So there's already 5 behind A. So 13 minus 5 will give us 8. So this is the whole queue in the first possibility. Let's add these up. This will give us 28. Now let's mark the second possibility. So let's mark 13 people behind A. If you count, there's already 13 behind A. And there should be only 11 ahead of C. But there's 13. So this case is not possible at all. Let's eliminate this case. We'll go to the next possibility and let's mark 11 people ahead of C. Let's mark 13 people behind A. Adding these up, we will get 38, which we can eliminate right away because we already got 28, which is lesser than 38. Let's check here now. Let's mark 11 ahead of C. There's already 8 ahead of C. So 11 minus 8 is 3. Then let's mark 13 behind A. There's already 3 behind A, so remaining is 10. Let's add all these up. This will give us 22. So this is the minimum value that we are getting and the minimum possible value. So option A is the answer.